Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I've landed in paradise. This house is incredible. Take a quick look. Now this house is, I think, probably one of the best I've seen in 20 years, and I'm not just saying that. We're about 15 minutes north of Asti. We'll come back to that in a moment, the importance of this area. But it's on its own hill. It's got a 360 degree view. You can see the Alps all the way along. You've got Monviso, you know, the Paramount Mountain. You've got Mont Blanc, Monte Rosa, the Matterhorn, the Klein Matterhorn. You can see them all from here. You've got vineyards all around, beautiful rolling hills that remind us of Tuscany. And it's just so well located. You've got fantastic restaurants and wineries, enough to feed you and keep you lubricated for the rest of your life. And the house is just stunning. It's eight bedroom house with apartment as well for a custodian if you wanted that or for guests or you could rent it. And the house has an amazing history as well. It was previously owned by Juventus football player. And he also went into car design. He even started a Formula One team. Now the current owners, he's a doctor and she's a judge and she's a really good judge because she likes me. <laughs> But anyway, joking aside, they're very nice people and they're retiring to the south of Italy and they want to sell. Well, they really, really reluctantly want to sell. The place is 1.7 million for this. So we're going to do a tour of the house. I'm going to photograph it as well today, even though it's so hot. You've got the grasshoppers in the trees. We've got a beautiful bird sanctuary just here as well. There's a swimming pool. There's parking for 12 cars. It's just fabulous. I promise you're going to love this one. So we're going to take a tour of the house. I'm going to show you all of the property. And then if you have any questions, all you have to do is get in touch with me and I'll be very, very happy to answer your questions or arrange for you if you're serious to come and see this house. Let's get on with the tour. Okay, so here we are, the entranceway up to the house. In fact, just below us here to the right are two, uh, a double garage. So, uh, you've got plenty of car storage space if you want to collect cars or motorbikes, whatever your passion is, there is a garage for that. We'll come back to that a bit later. But here's the beautiful, beautiful tree-lined drive up to the house. And this is the highest hill in the area, so you've got an absolute commanding view all around, which we're going to see as well. Look at these beautiful trees and the great red brickwork, ancient brickwork. And we come up onto this wonderful terrace and garden. Just absolutely beautiful. And there's the house. So you have to forgive me here because at this point when I recorded it, the, uh, the audio system wasn't working properly. Uh, so I'll record this, just this short section in my studio. I'll blame it on the heat. It was very difficult to make this video this day because it was so hot. But here we have this beautiful terrace, fantastic view. And it's beautiful at sunrise, sunset, in autumn, winter. And directly below here we have the pool room. We'll come to that later. And then we have the pool. How fantastic is that? And it's a big pool as well, and it's, it's so beautiful. Everything about it is so beautiful. It's done with real taste. And then we can come back over the terrace again, and we can head toward the house. There's another seating area here. In fact, the owner is a doctor, and I asked him to give me a bit of a medical checkup a few weeks ago, and we did it right there. Which, which better place could it be? Uh, quite fantastic, and uh, the... the, the, the garden is really well cared for they have somebody care for the, the land 
and if you buy the house we can have somebody arrange for somebody to come and uh, and look after that for you if it's not your thing you can see all the the gardens properly uh, pavemented as well it's it's all done very very carefully and uh, no expense spared here to the left you can see the pool room there's a big uh, window there and then we come to the swimming pool and I think here my audio started working again and here we have this beautiful room underneath the terrace right in front of the pool it's a beautiful lounge area party room you could put your office here if you wanted to work from here beautiful and here at the end there's a kitchen and look at this there's no Ikea here a solid marble sink gas cooker and here you got a fridge freezer and then through here is a changing room there's a pool cleaner and a shower and toilet. Fantastic. And just look at this view as we come out over the pool. Absolutely beautiful. Let's just take a moment to take this in. So right next to the swimming pool we have this beautiful garden and we've got olives, look at the olives, and then just below us is a fantastic workshop. The owner loves carpentry and he's got a fully, fully fitted uh, carpenter's workshop with all the tools and the machines, it's quite beautiful. Let's take a walk down. There we go, so we've got this uh, flat area here, very useful. And here's the owner's workshop with all his tools. He's actually a doctor, orthopedic surgeon, but he loves a bit of carpentry. And here we've just got storage units. Every house needs something like this, just a place to put things. There's wood for the wood burning stoves and uh, all the machines necessary for keeping the garden. So here we are, we're back at the house and look at this place. You've got a tower, beautiful terraces, balconies, look at this wonderful terrace here. So here we are, the front garden, front of the house. It's just absolutely stunning. And I just wanted to point out as well that the windows, the shutters, all in great condition. You can see all the, the terrace here, the pavements are all in excellent condition, all very rustic. I mean, you'd never clean this because it just looks so good. It's taken years to get it to look like this. Uh, for me, this tree is a little bit big, uh, but you know, it's up to the new owner and there are so many seating areas here you can choose where to dine look at this there's a water well and then this is just stunning I've been here when the view was clear and it is absolutely magical because you've got a view here onto uh, Mont Blanc and uh, the Matterhorn and actually just below here the house just down here is owned by a very famous Italian singer 
Now his name has escaped me at the moment, but I, I, I'll, I'll put it on the screen here. <laughs> I got a bad memory, but um, a famous Italian singer lives just here. So now we're going into the custodian's apartment, which is at the rear of the house. And the couple have been here a long, long time, but they're ready to retire. So there's no problem with them moving out. So here we've got the kitchen, dining room. These are their, all their personal things. All these things will go, uh, including the wine. Sorry about that. There's another entrance there. And here we come through to a bathroom. But, you know, it looks like it could do with a bit of painting. Nice bathroom with shower. Bath and shower. And then a bedroom. Still on the ground floor. It's all gas central heating in the house. Uh, just to mention, uh, the owner was saying to me earlier that to run the house cost 8,000 euros a year. That's gas, electricity, water. There's no tax, no property tax if you have residency here. And he's here for eight months of the year and the people that live here, they're here permanently all the time. Okay. And that's it. So you've got two bedrooms, kitchen, dining room, Look at this, what they call a stufa. And you put wood in there and you can cook on that. You can bake pizza in there. Just have a quick look around again. But it's a small space, but uh, if you need somebody to live here to help you run the place, or if you wanted to rent it, with a little bit of tidying up, it can be very, very nice, a beautiful view. And you can listen to Paolo Conte practicing on the weekend. Fantastic. Just a beautiful, beautiful place. I'm sure you're agreeing with me right now. So first we come into this small dining area, which is your everyday dining place and kitchen. And it has a beautiful open fire. Big fridge. These beautiful marble surfaces. And the kitchen, of course, is staying. It's worth noting, it sometimes um, is, is, is a bit of a, a note of contention with Italian houses. Italians take everything with them. In fact, the Italian word for furniture is mobili, which literally means movable. House is immobili, which means not movable. And so it, it sort of shows the mentality, the difference that we have maybe coming from countries like the US or UK where furniture stays. But here in Italy, generally it doesn't. And in this house, the furniture is not staying, but the things that are fixed, like the kitchens and the bathrooms, they will. And here's this beautiful dining room. Imagine entertaining your, your guests here. Really fantastic. Like the, these shelves, of course, would stay because they're fixed. Let me just swing around to show you this. Look how beautiful that is. And everything's done in nice soft colors. Great choices with these cottle floors. Really, really beautiful. And then we come into the main entrance way. I came in through the, the kitchen dining room, but uh, here's the main entrance to the front garden. Let's stay on this level. There's a doorway here to the wine cellar. We'll do that last. And we come into this lounge, beautiful little lounge. It's got a lot of these, lots of rooms. You can uh, have a lot of people living here, but uh, still find always a private place. Then up three stairs and we come to another one and this has this beautiful open fireplace. Slightly vaulted ceilings. Really beautiful. We've got a wasp following us, excuse the noise. And then we come into another lounge. Look how beautiful this is. 
Again, the beautiful soft colours, the floors. I mean, the only thing you'd have to do with this property is buy furniture because they are taking the furniture with them. Again, open fireplace, all functioning, all clean. The house is immaculate in every aspect. So this is that level. Now what we're going to do is go upstairs. Beautiful marble stairs with these wrought iron balustrade. There's the balcony there, overlooking the front of the house. And then we come into bedroom, small bedroom. I think it was, this was their son's bedroom. As a sort of paraphernalia that a young boy would have. Crash helmets and posters of Juventus. And again, opening to the balcony outside, a beautiful breeze blowing through today. And then, oh, let's go up here. There's so many choices in this place of where to turn. And here we have another big bedroom. Look at this. Look at those ceilings. Let's just uh, adjust my camera. Look at those ceilings, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful room. And again, there's a balcony there that overlooks the town. You've got the towns here of Scotalengo, and behind there is Montemagno, one of the most famous restaurants in the area, the Bra La Braia. Really, really fantastic. We eat there uh, fairly regularly because the food is so good and it's real proper waiter service. And, and not expensive, but fantastic foods. And then we have this long hallway. There's a study here. Little work, work room. And then the next room is another study. It could be a small bedroom. That'd be your choice. Again, beautiful ceilings. And this is, this is something I love to see. It's all carpeted up here. This is something you don't often see in Italy. Uh, it's something very typical of England and I think America as well. And this beautiful bathroom. I mean, look at this. It's really fantastic with this big shower and the most amazing view. And then right next to this is another bathroom with bathtub. Again, beautifully fitted. Now let me swing round to the left and we have another bedroom. Again, those beautiful vaulted ceilings. These wonderful wood doors with glass panels. And then we have our central stairway. And we can go right here. And we have another bathroom with a big bathtub, shower, and marble sink. And this big mirror. And then next to this is the laundry and ironing room. Then next to this is another bedroom. And opposite this, another lounge, just in case you needed another one. This is a, a beautiful, I, I keep saying it, but it really is. It's a beautiful, beautiful place because you've got fantastic views. And when it's clear, when the air is clear, not, not so often in the summer you see it, maybe after a storm, but what you'll get is a fantastic view of the Alps along here. You've got the Highlanger Hills and the Monferrato 
uh, but uh, you get a beautiful view of the Alps. So if you need nooks where to sit and read, again, mention again, if uh, you want to rent, you want a prestigious rental, you will not find better than this. Now there's a terrace out there, but I'm going to come to that in a moment. But we're going to go upstairs into the tower. Ah, and here, this is part of the history of the of the building, Cisitalia. And the owner of Cisitalia, the founder of Cisitalia, uh, was a Juventus football player, then went on to be a car maker. And his cars are considered to be high art now. In fact, his car was the first to be put into the uh, New York Museum of Modern Art. And I've been talking to Pininfarina about him, and it's quite a story, he was quite a man. But look at this room, there's one room up here. Big, big TV, bookcases. As I say, these things will be going, but of course all replaceable. Fantastic views. Lovely room. Okay, now let's take a look at this terrace. You remember there's the seating area underneath. And it's just a beautiful place. And again, I'm gonna mention it again. Actually, you can just about see, you probably the camera isn't picking up, but you can just see the tip top of the Alps along there, the snow-capped Alps all the way along. It's a really, really amazing view, really beautiful but we're going to have to come back on a, on a day when it's completely clear and uh, maybe do another short video. But there you go, another place for sitting, drinking a glass of local wine, enjoying cheeses, salamis, whatever's your thing on this beautiful terrace. So now what we're going to do is go down to the wine cellar, the cantina, and this is Phenomenal. There are two ways, internal staircase here, or there's an entrance at the rear of the house by the custodian's apartment. And we come into this area here, and I can tell you it's a hot day today, but here is at least 10 degrees centigrade cooler. And we'll come to this tunnel in a moment, but there's all the storage you need here for your wines and food. And look at this. Wow, what a space, huh? You could convert this to dining space. It would need a bit of work to cover up the pipes and etc. but it all could be done. But a fantastic room cut into the earth. Let me just show you the ugly part first. And here's the heating system. It's all good quality, Weissmann, regularly serviced, all obviously fitted properly, goes without saying. And there's all your plumbing. Gas central heating, gas hot water, all mains, all connected to the mains here. They're even running fiber optics into the town now. And look at this, again, this room with these beautiful brick arches. This was built to last. And can you imagine all the important people that came here with uh, the previous owner, with Piero Duzio, people like Agnelli, Porsche, Ferdinand Porsche worked with him, uh, all the top designers of the day, Giacosa, the guy that invented the original Fiat Cinquecento, all good friends of Piero Duzio. And look at this. Isn't this extraordinary? Cut into the sand. And I don't know if you can see this up here. These are seashells. And they haven't been put in there. They're original. They've been here probably for thousands of years. The owner is taking all the wine with him. Sorry about that. 
but you can have fun restocking it. Just uh, let me just glance around here, some of these things. What have we got? This one's a 1978. Barbera's beautiful. Look at this place. Just amazing. All these little alcoves cut into the sandstone to store wines. And they'll preserve here for years. Beautiful. Let me just uh, turn around and show you where we just came from. There we go, and that's a wine cellar. So now what we're going to do is walk down from the garden. There's the terrace there above the pool. And we're going to walk past the swimming pool. There you go, there's a pool. Ooh, so inviting on a hot day like today. And what I want to show you is this area here, because here you have parking. And you have parking for four cars, a couple of Vespers, and there's all the technical room for the swimming pool, the pumps, the filtration system, etc. And you've got this underground parking. It doesn't have doors, but obviously they could easily be fitted. And there's another garage on the street for two cars and there's, there's, uh, there's parking in total for 12 cars here and you've got all this space here as well. Plenty of space for your Lamborghini Ferrari collection. There you go, there's the garage area. So what did you think? What a spectacular house. And it's on the market now, it, it will make a beautiful private home. Also if you're thinking about rental, this is a really good one. No problem renting this house. You've got the apartment, You've got the main house, you could do it in two parts. We've got maintenance companies that can look after that for you, every aspect. So come and enjoy it two or three times a year and the rest of the time rent it. This area is second best only to Langer, the Barolo area. That, that's right up there. And properties are priced right out of the market there now. Very rare anything comes up, but this really is a beautiful area. You've got fantastic restaurants, wonderful wineries. You've got a lifetime of discovery here. And the house is presented just beautifully. The, the owners really love this house and it's really clear when you visit that you can see that they, they, they put so much attention on this place. More details on my website. If you need to know more, by all means get in touch. I also need to mention the location. I didn't mention the location. We're just north of Asti. We're in easy distance of Torino, about 40 minutes to Torino. You're about an hour and a bit from Milano. You're just over an hour and a half to the coast. The Lange Barolo area is 35, 40 minutes from here. And you've got all of this around here as well to discover. It's just fantastic. So I look forward to hearing from you. And please click the subscribe button. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button because I'll be making a lot more videos and I really, really need your support and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for that. Don't forget to comment. Even if it's not what you're looking for, tell me what you think of this place. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks again. Look forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, bye for now.